First of all, Mara Scholarship is from one of the um, government funded agency, I would say. So it's a very simple process. Uh, student have to apply for the course first uh, at whatever university that they wanted but we'll make sure that it is top 10 or top 20 um, so whenever you have the uh, unconditional offer you can just apply for MARA but another requirement is uh, the CGPA it must be 3.75 above and the course uh, it must be in the list of the MARA point. I mean sometimes and education is not part of what Mara sponsors, so that must be taken into account. Uh, Islamic finance, I would say this is the first page, uh, which is why we have four people here uh, with Mara scholarship. First page, Jerry Sandi as to Dandi. I would say um, it's a good, uh, I would say good for Mara actually, because they know uh, since we are the first page. They know what we are going to do after this. Is it a nice sending student here? I take Muamalat before. Muamalat is like fake and Islamic banking and Islamic finance. So I'm in line. Some people are they are jumping from another course, Islamic finance. But I'm in line and I just finished my undergraduate in September last year. And straightly uh, January I am here. I'm actually an accountant uh, in one of the big four. Uh, I'm working as an auditor for three years, so I have a working experience. I started my career as an accountant, um, but then I realized that um, I am more interested in ethical financing, which is more into the Isla uh, Islamic part. So that makes me start to research which university uh, that offer a master post postgraduate taught in this area and I actually shortlisted a few of it and yeah, finally I chose Dundee uh, Mara has this list of university that specialize into a specific subject so when I google and research which university so Dundee is listed in one of the top 5 in UK that offer this course um, so I started this uh, application for university first because I need to secure the offer letter. Uh, after that, I tried to apply Mara and actually um, the process is quite long uh, because um, they need to follow a few um, documentation. So I only secured the scholarship around September. I'm considering to uh, find any work opportunities in this sector here before going back to my country to at least have some exposure or experience working in, in abroad before I going back and contribute something to my country.